Several years have passed since the conclusion of the anime series Tokyo Ghoul. I want to discuss how this anime was beloved by viewers before being despised in this video. Sui Ishida is the author and illustrator of Tokyo Ghoul. The seinen manga magazine Weekly Young Jump published it as a series in its 41st issue on September 8, 2011, and its last chapter came in its 42nd issue. Between July 4 and September 19, 2015, 14, Tokyo MX broadcast a Piro adaptation of an anime television series consisting of 12 episodes. The anime series is available in North America thanks to Funimation. Tokyo Ghoul A, a second season, broadcast in Japan from January 9 to March 27, 2015. Spoiler! The narrative centers on Ken Kaneki, a student who just escapes a fatal confrontation with Rise Kamishiro, his girlfriend, who turns out to be a ghoul and wants to devour him. He is in critical condition when he is transported to the hospital. Kaneki learns that he underwent surgery that caused him to become a half-ghoul after he has recovered. He now has to eat human flesh to survive, much like other ghouls do. He is adopted by ghouls who manage the Antiku coffee shop, who help him adjust to his new existence as a half-ghoul. Following up the series Tokyo Ghoul Anime Adaptation, Tokyo Ghoul, Ray was first revealed on October 5, 2017, and it debuted on April 3, 2018, by the studio Piro. Shui Morita was replaced as director by Toshinori Watanabe. This is where it went down. The production house is in a state of confusion, and Tokyo Ghoul, Ray is the ideal illustration of this. The anime adaption Tokyo Ghoul Ray is substantially more true to the source material. It disregards what happened in season to root A. It is far more difficult for anyone who has not read the manga to understand. Although they try to cram roughly 180 chapters into 24 episodes, the plot is still hurried. Fans lose faith that they would receive something that truly leaves a lasting impact as a result of the studio's poor management. Throughout the the beginning of time, people have been terrified of being devoured alive. Many accounts from history describe how tragedy caused people to turn to cannibalism. Yet in each instance, cannibalism serves as a story device that allows the protagonist, T.S. to engage with and learn about creatures they otherwise wouldn't have chosen to. For having created anime like Naruto, Boruto, Bleach, Kingdom, and Black Clover, Studio Piro has a dubious reputation. These anime were frequently criticized for a variety of things, including poor animation and visual quality, to many filler episodes, pacing problems, and more. It's simple to see why Piro is frequently brought up when discussing the Tokyo Ghoul anime because of the widespread media open. I don't that animation studios count the most when assessing anime. When Tokyo Ghoul first aired, it instantly gained popularity among anime fans because it portrayed the sympathetic Ken Kaneki, who learns about the twisted and deadly world of ghouls after becoming one himself. Although having a lot going for it, the anime ultimately flew too close to the sun. Although the first season wasn't great, it was at least passable. Nevertheless, the second season of Tokyo Ghoul a significantly departed from the manga and essentially threw out everything that had worked in the first season. Tokyo Ghoul, Rei later attempted to reverse this, but it struggled with a narrative that was too tightly packed, timed badly, and matched with weak animation. The decline of Tokyo Ghoul is difficult to witness, 